Welcome all. Today in this video, I am going to tell you that how you can get the location and dimension of a image using Selenium. So for that purpose, I have taken the example of this page where I have I want to find the location and the dimension of the alligator image. So for that purpose, how you can see it manually? Right click on the alligator image, click on inspect, and you will see it will open the developer tools. It is highlighting the element here. And you can see when you put your cursor here, you will see it is showing you the rendered size. Like you can see here, it is a rendered size like uh, 200 multiply 150 pixel. You can see the aspects ratio. You can see the instinct side. You can see the, you can say so many things are here. If you want to see the uh, size, you can go to here also click on computed. And here also you can see this one 200 cross 150. This is the, you can say uh, width and uh, height of the alligator image. So at runtime, you have to find it. And same thing you can see in the attribute of this uh, alligator image code. There is a attribute width that is 200 at height equal to 150. So actually using these ways, you can find it manually. But now the question is that how you can find it using automation, using Selenium automation. Second thing is that how you find the location of this image on my web page. Like what do you man, mean by location? The X and the Y coordinate of the this image on my web page. So let's see the program. So in this program, I have just opened the Chrome browser. Then I maximize the window. And after that, I just enter the URL of that page where the alligator image is uh, available. Now I find the web element locator like driver dot find element by dot xpath and I've used the this xpath here. Okay, I've used this using this uh, SRC. I've just created the xpath and use it here. Now your web element button image is a web element. So button image dot get location. I called a function and then call a function get x. So using this one button image get location get x. It will return the x coordinate of the image. Same way button image dot get location dot get y. It will return the y coordinate of the so that I stored in the X coordinate and Y coordinate variable and then I print it in the console so that you can see it in the same way button image that is web element get size a function and then get height. So button image get size dot get height function will return the height of the image and same way button image dot get size dot get width will return the width of the image that I stored in the height and width variable and same I printed it here so that you can see it in the console. Okay, so let me first of all clear it. And now let me run it. You can say it has just run the program. So I'm not doing anything on the UI. So you cannot see anything here. Let me go to the console. So in the console, you can see the X coordinate is 41. Y coordinate is 6, 165 and height is 150 and width is 200, which I have already seen in the UI. So using this program, you can get the location like X and Y coordinate as well as you can get the height and width of the image. For your, uh, if you want to use this program, you can copy the program from the description of this video. If you like the content, you can put your comment on the video also. And if not subscribe my channel till now, you can subscribe it. Thank you.